Hey everybody, welcome back. Thought today I'd make a mess for you. Uh, I was uh, think trying to think of some stuff to do on the lathe. I went up to the booth and uh, I need some more of the woodworking mallets. Ah, hold on. If you haven't seen any of the other videos that I've made, I make these out of bowling pins. And uh, this one I keep because my uh, daughter just heard hammer and she tried to use this one to actually do nails. So I keep this one. But I need to make some more of them. But I was thinking of things I could do on the lathe and I thought, well, let's try to peel a potato. That'd be fun. So, and usually I say this at the end of the video, but I'll say it now because it's not working real well. Uh, like, subscribe, share, do all that clicky stuff if you don't mind. Which, I'm over halfway to 500 now. I, I got 268, so I'm over half. Working on 500, I got a couple of knife, knife giveaways. Uh, one at 500, one at 1,000 subscribers, so see if we can get there. But... I'll bring you guys in on the uh, lathe here. And let me move some stuff out of the way. As per usual, my my lathe is or my shop is a mess. You know what? Let me move you over to this side because uh, I tend to stand on that other side, so I don't want to block you too much. And I don't have an overhead rig yet, so. All right. So we got the tater. Uh, and I'll use this little end here because I just don't think my chuck will hold the tater very well. And if you like this, come up with some other stuff you want seen see me do on here that's goofy. There we go. I don't think I need to move my vice grips this time because uh, I don't think I'm going to have to tighten it tight enough to really <laughs> do much with this. So I'll get the tater in there. Get it even. We don't want it wobbling too much. You know how them crazy taters are. Alright, so there's that. Right. Hey, look at that. I put my thing in the way. There we go. There we go. See if it spins without flying off. Hey, look at that. All right. I'm about needing a new lathe. All right. I'm going to use my little carbide tip one. See if we can make a nice round peeled tater. Well, it will spin on there. It will slip on there fairly easy, so. Tater, uh, raw mashed potatoes. I'm glad this is all stainless. It'd be a fun way to make mashed potatoes. It's still not peeled. No. All right. Now, me personally, 
if I was making potatoes just just for me, there's a really skinny French fry. If I was making them just for me, I would leave the skin on because I I like mashed potatoes with the skin on. But there we go. Look, all the important parts peeled. All I'd have to do is cut the ends off. But let's uh. Let's see how far down we can get this thing before it flies off here. That's really thin french fry there. It looks kind of like a tapeworm. I think we can make something out of it. Mmm, potato juice. Yummy. Another tapeworm. I don't think I'll sand and stain this though. That might be a. I don't know how well the stain would work. There we go. What do we got here? Now look at that. Let me move you back up there. Sorry for the wonderful camera work. I know how. I've mentioned this before, but. I'm the one that does all the camera work and everything. There we go, a little tater on me. Yeah, get you around here. There we go. Hey, clean off my glasses for tater juice. Look at that. All right, well. We have got a pile of tapeworms. Throw it in the trash. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, centerpiece came in. Went in there. Put that back. There we go. Look at there. We got a decorative potato. Now. Always have a Leatherman. It's like when you make something with the wood, take the ends off. And then, uh, I like raw potatoes too. So, right, there's something goofy you can do on the one blade. I really doubt this will go viral, but potatoes are good. They're not too bad of a mess. So, hey, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for getting me to 268 where I'm at now and uh, and the rest. Uh, here in a little bit, I'm going to do a live stream. Uh, I've not done one of those before, so. Anybody that joins, hey, I got some paper and pen out here. I'm going to write down some stuff I want to talk about. And then you guys, anybody that joins, I'll uh, answer what questions I can. So, hey, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.